What's up? So if you can't tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be making my favorite Starbucks coffee drink as of right now um, at home for many dollars cheaper. Just a little disclaimer in this video, it's not going to be the exact same. My version's a little bit lighter um, than the Starbucks version, a little less sugar. So my favorite coffee drink right now from Starbucks is I get an iced cold brew with one pump of toffee nut in the coffee and then I get a vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. I'm going to be making that today here in my kitchen. It's very small. But anyway, I'm not gonna lie, I've been getting these very often. So it's time that I make it myself here at home. I've made it before, um, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. So, as you can tell from the beginning, of the video, I already brewed my Toffee Nut Starbucks K-Cup in my Keurig back here. Um, so that is in the fridge. Um, yeah, so I think it's done. If you guys could smell this right now, I was obsessing over Toffee Nut in one of my other videos because I had a Toffee Nut creamer, but I would much rather have the Toffee Nut coffee with the regular creamer, it's just way better. Anyway, let's get into the coffee. So I'm gonna go get a cup. Okay, so what you'll need to make my version of the Starbucks um, cold foam, cold brew, is um, obviously your cold brew. Obviously this is not cold brew, but it works. And then I have my glass. And then you can do the cold foam a few different ways. Sometimes I like to take just the sweet almond plant-based uh, creamer. Oat and almond creamer by Natural Bliss. No, by Coffee Mate. So sometimes I just like to froth that with a little bit of almond milk just to get it a little thicker. I don't know, but I'm not using this today because that's just too easy. So I am going to be using, this is my preferred version. I'm using almond breeze, vanilla, almond milk. You can use any milk of your choice. And then just a little tiny one one thousandth of a scoop of dream protein in vanilla. This is so good. This is my favorite. This protein is so good and it actually like froths and makes the foam thicker than if you just put almond milk in it. And it gives a nice little flavor. That is what I use for my cold brew, so let's go ahead and make it. Please get out of the way. And I need some ice, so let's actually hope and pray that somebody made ice in our freezer, which the only person who uses ice in this household is me. So let's see if past Olivia is good to future Olivia. Yeah, full tray. I love myself. Just kidding. So we are just going to fill our glass with some ice. I like a lot of ice. Probably about that much. Probably about that much. Notice how I didn't refill it. I'm gonna regret that. Okay, next I'm going to pour my coffee over the ice. Actually, should we make the cold foam first so the coffee doesn't melt the ice, even though it is cold? You know what that does. Ice is colder than the coffee, so it's gonna melt. Anyway, I can't. Somebody was staring at me, it's fine. I forgot to mention what I use to actually um, 
like froth the cold foam and I use if you've seen in my previous video which you probably haven't but this beautiful milk frother by this brand that I cannot pronounce right there it's got four settings one of them is a cold foam setting so that's what I used to make my cold foam it's just a lazier version of one of the stick ones where you like stick it in the coffee and it goes see it's got it's it's got the little whisk in there love this guy I've been using this guy since last Christmas and let me tell you I would recommend these I think they're on Amazon yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon, but the base is over here. I'm just going to pull this thing up here and make our cold foam. There's not much to see over here. I know that it's far away, but we are just going to go with it. So it's really easy. Can we get all this stuff out of the way? Okay. Oh my gosh, modesty. Okay. So this is actually like a preference now how much cold foam you want in your coffee, so just do it to your liking. Do it to whatever warms your soul, okay? I'm gonna pour that pretty hefty amount. I do like cold foam. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll make some adjustments if needed. And then, for my protein, it's literally like just covers the bottom of the scoop. I don't know if you can see that. It's really not a ton because it does have a strong flavor. It just gives it a little boost. Gives you a little, I don't know. And then all you do with this guy, turn it on, switch it to the cold foam version, and that's it. You're done. Your cold foam is being made without you even doing anything else, which I think is a beautiful thing. Okay, we're gonna pour our coffee. I'm the queen of not spilling coffee out of mugs when pouring it into different glasses. So let's see if that title holds up. Okay, that doesn't hold up. I also made way too much, so let's just... That is delicious. I really thoroughly enjoy this coffee even with nothing else in it. Another reason I'm making this coffee at home, it just so happens that Starbucks is like temporarily just out of toffee nut and hazelnut. Like, to be determined when it's coming back. Like, we need answers. Please don't tell me that the reason that toffee nut is not no longer available right now is because it's not popular, because this flavor is the backbone of who I am. So, that'd be a really sad time, and oh, it's done. Oh my goodness. We are looking good. I honestly want to froth it again just because it's fun. Also, I think one of the first questions you should ask somebody when you're dating them. Sorry, let me get in the camera. I think one of the first questions you should ask somebody if you're like thinking you could date them or like if you want to continue the relationship is really what their favorite cereal is because there's a lot of wrong answers and I think the list of right answers are peanut butter Captain Crunch it's obviously elite not the regular Captain Crunch it's definitely on the other list so peanut butter Captain Crunch we got fruity pebbles that's elite the blueberry mini wheats not the regular mini wheats but only the blueberry or the strawberry I think that would pass as well that's really all I can think of right now, and I really want my coffee, so we're gonna end that list there, but stay tuned for more. Okay, so we have our cold foam. Did, am I gonna spill it? So now, it's time to add our cold foam on top. Slowly so it doesn't go to the bottom. Oh, can you see this? Somebody's watching. I'm kind of nervous. Dude, it's so embarrassing because literally I have a huge door and then you can just see my camera on the tripod and me just like being s dumb. Meanwhile. He's watching me, please. I can't do this. Okay, it's fine. We'll just deal with it. Anyway, this, this is beautiful. Let's get some cinnamon over the top. He's recording me. It's fine. Cinnamon on top. 
Oh, that was a lot. It's fine. Here it is. The beautiful Toffee Nut Cold Brew with Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Foam, which is actually just made with almond milk. She's a beaut. Okay, let's try it. It's so good. It's not too sweet. You have the toffee nut flavor very, very obvious in the coffee. You have the vanilla. It's not too thick. It's not too sweet. I love a coffee flavor. If I can't taste the coffee in my coffee, it's not good. It's a no from me. So, obviously this is good. I love it. The cinnamon on top. Look, the coffee's not even breaking through the cream. Okay, that's basically it for this video. Let me know if you tried this coffee and what you think of it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Follow me on my Instagram if you want to see the behind the scenes of my life, what I do, coffee recipes, anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.